Hey, Gens fans, and welcome to this Gens Weekly Recap. I'm your host and the voice of the Gens, Matt Sossler. The Gens had a busy weekend of hockey up in Maine. Let's take a look to see what went down. On Friday, the Northeast Generals traveled to Maine to take on the Nordiques for the third time on the young season. After a scoreless first frame, the Gens lit the offensive flame when J.R. Perdian found the back of the net just five minutes into the second period. Just 45 seconds later, Ricky Boyson got his first tally of the season to give the Generals a 2-0 lead. Despite a lot of back-and-forth action, no goals were scored for the remainder of the second frame. However, in the third period, Maine would cut the deficit in half when James Philpott scored, but that would be all as the Generals got their first regulation win of the season over the Nordiques. In the win, Hugo Haas made 46 saves. A quick look at some arithmetic again. J.R. Prudian and Ricky Boyson, each with a goal apiece. Zach Lindeworth and Jake Hazu picked up assists. And Hugo Haas, a magnificent day between the pipes, making 46 saves. The very next day, as the Generals look to ride the momentum from Friday's win into the finale, Maine was ready. However, the Generals started off quick as Liam McKenney continued the Generals' high-powered offense with a lamp lighter just short of eight minutes into the first period. In the second period, Maine would get a quick equalizer on an Isaiah Fox goal. Both goalies, however, would stand tall for the remainder of the frame. In the decisive third period, Maine would score quick again and take the lead for good to salvage a series split versus the Generals. A look again at some of the arithmetic from Saturday's game. Liam McKinney with the goal. Aiden Curran picked up the lone assist. Curran has gotten a point in three out of his last four games, and McKinney has gotten a point in five games this season. The Generals have played seven games thus far. The NA3HL Generals were also in action this past week. They traveled to New Jersey for a three-game set against the Titans. In game one, the Northeast Generals notched their third win of the season over New Jersey. The Generals did not wait to get the offense going as Deacon Moore notched their first goal of the game just two minutes in. In the third period, after a scoreless second, Jacob Kaczynski gave the Generals some insurance two minutes into the frame. Ben Pizzamenti and Nicholas Oborn would add tallies as well in the back end of the frame to give the Generals the 4-1 to victory. A look at some stats. Ben Pizzamenti, a goal and two assists. Jacob Kaczynski, Deacon Moore, and Nicholas Oborn, a goal apiece. Austin Crisp with two assists. Nick Racker, James Clark, each with an assist. And Espen Rieger picked up 13 saves. The Generals outshot the Titans 51-14 to as well. The next day, the Generals looking to take the series majority did not slow down. Deacon Moore again scored the opening lamp lighter just seven minutes in. However, needing to find their offense, New Jersey responded just 20 seconds later to even the score. Heading into the second period, all even, the Gens took the lead again off of a Tyler Kaminsky power play tally. Yet, like in the first period, New Jersey responded, taking a tie game into the final frame. The Generals would then take the lead one last time in the final period off of a Jacob Kaczynski goal before New Jersey scored three unanswered goals to take the game 5-3. to three. A look at some stats. Deacon Moore, a goal and an assist. Jacob Kaczynski and Tyler Kaminsky, one goal apiece. Nick Racker, Jacob Kaminsky, Drew Schemmel, Austin Crisp, and Ben Pizzamenti, each with an assist. And Kyle McGuire with 23 saves. Deacon Moore also extended his point streak to five games during that game. The very next day in the rubber matchup, after splitting the prior two games, New Jersey got off to a quick start, scoring six and a half minutes into the game. They would add insurance with under five minutes to go in the first frame to take a two to nothing advantage into the locker room. In the second period, it was all New Jersey again as they added two more to take a commanding four to nothing lead into the final period. However, the Generals would not go away as they scored two unanswered goals. The first came from James Clark around five minutes in, the second from Drew Schemmel just under three minutes later. However, that would be all for the Generals as New Jersey would walk away with the 5-2 to two victory following a late tally from Jersey's Brendan Avezov that would give him a hat-trick on the day. A look at some stats. James Clark with a goal. Drew Schummel with a goal. Nick Racker and Austin Crisp each with an assist. And Tim Pasek with 22 saves. Nick Racker extended his point streak to five games. Now a look to the week ahead this weekend. The NAHL Generals will travel to Danbury and New Jersey to take on the Hattricks and the Titans. It'll be the first time the NAHL Generals see New Jersey on the season. The Generals have seen Danbury once this season. Danbury 
took that game early on the season. The NA3HL Generals will also be in action as they head back to New Jersey for a two-game set looking to get revenge on the Titans, and then they will head back to host Bay State as well. That is going to wrap up this edition of the Gens Weekly Recap for everyone here at the Northeast Generals. I'm Matt Sosler. Thank you for tuning in to this Gens Weekly Recap.